Hello you guys, this is Shirley's Real Life and I am Quan. I am the daughter, Shirley is my mother. This is her channel and I come on time to time to do videos. And this week I am doing beading and some of the things that I make with beads and today happened to be ring day. So I'm going to be showing you guys some of the rings that I have made for myself and I also sell some of the things that I make so today starting off is going to be this ring that I have made I use monofilament to make this ring this is one that I've made and it is beaded all the way around It's green and silver. I hope you guys like it. I enjoyed making it. I had fun making it. I'm going to take it off and get ready to show you the next one. And we're going to stick with um, the beaded one. Well, they're all beaded, but we're going to go into another green one. And this one reminds me of Christmas when I wear this one. Here we go. It has a red ball in it. And like I say, I use monofilament. Very good. Um, How would I say it? Very good. It's like a plastic um, string like you would use like for um, beading or like for fishing or something. And that way it doesn't come off, doesn't break really easy. That's that one. And it is beaded all the way around. It's not tight. It's loose. Y'all like that one? And at the end, oh, I would love it if you guys would comment and tell me which one of these was your favorite. Moving on to the next one. Here we go. This one is black, pink, and I think blue. And this is that one. And my ring size is a nine. I make them, the string is a lot longer than the bead is so I can make sure I have a lot of room. So then I measure them to make sure they fit to my ring size, which is a nine. And then I will use the ring size or to measure the other fingers if I want them bigger. And I'll show you guys what I use to measure my rings right here I just use a ring mixture I mean and then I just put them put it on here and measure to my size and it stretches it goes I think this it had I know this is a nine eight then it has nine and a half and ten and it goes down like that that's what I use Then I have a stretchy one. I like this one. This one is one of my favorites. And I'll put this one on this finger so y'all can see it. Okay, here it is. This is blue. It's a little bigger. It's more a statement piece. And like I said, all the rings I make are different. I like this one. I might make this one in another color. All the way around 
And it's not tight. I could take it off, roll it off. I could put it on this finger if I like. There you go. It's nice. this one this one is a wire ring I like this one yeah it's wire wrapped I can wear it on that finger put it on here And I have a blue one like this, but it's just a different bead. Let's see. There we go. I can stretch it out if I want to turn it. There you go. It's nice and pretty. And the other ones are wire wrap. Let me see which one I want. I do this one first. The pinky ring. I made this one for my daughter. It's like a that green emerald color with gold wiring. And I have this one. This one is silver with a black bead with a little white in it. It's wrapped in like that bird's nest shape design and wire wrapped on the side to keep it closed. And that side. It's pretty you guys like make sure you tell me which one you like and this is the last one right here it's a pink one I'll put it right there pink wire wrap it's a glass crackle pink bead and I guess it's like a bronze wire wrap it's nice And that was the last one. I just wanted to show you guys some of the rings that I've done for myself. And I've done more. I appreciate you guys coming to watch. And I hope you like. Remember to let me know which one was your favorite. You have a good day. Thank you.